it looks like to me you have been very busy during the pandemic. Yeah, more than uh, more than I thought I would be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of us are like picking up little ho- like hobbies and stuff. Like for me, I'm baking, and now that things nice. are opened up a little bit more, doing more. Yeah. But, like you did a lot during those lockdown months. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Um, it, it kind of all started like I was on a trip, a writing trip uh, for my new album in London uh, at the end of February. Um, and then when I got back early March, that's when like COVID really just took a turn for the worst. And I was like, all right, well, um, guess I'm not going anywhere and uh, we'll see how things go. So the first couple months were actually pretty interesting. Um, I wasn't really inspired. It was cold outside. It was like, I didn't want to go anywhere. And I was just like at home doing nothing. Um, but you know, you got to learn how to adapt and how to pivot and how to, um, come back. And then all of a sudden the weather started, you know, becoming sunny and I was writing lots and just realizing how this opportunity can be put into a positive, um, you know, we're sitting with your thoughts, reflecting, reading a book, relaxing, and just being present and reaching out to friends that you don't necessarily talk to on a daily basis. So um, definitely busy with all of that in my head and working on relationships. But then we did the artist can thing. Yeah, um, I really wanted to ask you about that. Because when you say pivot, like you took that pivot from like being uh, to like, let's make something positive. Like, this is super totally. positive. So Yes, totally tell me about Artist Can. Yeah, so like you said, it was just like a blah, perfect word to describe how the mood was. Um, But then, you know, it went from this really somber mood to um, realizing how negatively COVID was um, affecting people. So we were thinking, me and my team, I say we, we were thinking like, how can we, how can we give back to the community? How can we make a positive difference? And light bulb idea you know let's create this cover of bill withers who recently passed away at that time like it's such a perfect song for the circumstances like everyone just needed someone to lean on uh everyone just needed someone in general so the song is lean on me yeah that's right that's right so all the royalties um went straight to the canadian red cross for covid relief and we we found out that just like a couple about a month ago, we found out that it's already raised over a hundred thousand dollars. So, super excited about that whole project. Like, and obviously everyone involved, like from J J Bieber, sorry J B, Justin Bieber, it's uh, oh, Michael Bublé, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, uh, Sarah McLaughlin, like Phoebe Dobson, who was my partner in doing that, and it was uh, it was a very cool experience to be a part of, and um, you know we made some history. So that's always a plus. Uh, yeah, absolute dream team. Now. Yeah. Okay, so while you were creating that, you also have been working on new music, which I'm guessing is probably like a continuation of what you started out in London at the beginning of the year. Exactly, yeah. And so you have a new single that's coming out tomorrow. It's called that's November. Right. But the thing is, is that when this interview comes out, everyone will have already heard it. So okay. Can you like hum something for me that I could get like a sneak peek? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I can't do that. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you wait. I'm sorry. Okay, you know, what? To... I'm just gonna go off of what I heard on Twitter, and I played yeah. it over and over again. I like how you did that. That's all you get. By the time this is out, people will have heard it. So what do you want yeah. people to know about Remember? Um, yeah, I've been actually getting this, uh, this question a lot, and it's, it's a valid question because when you listen to a song, it's like, wait, this isn't Tyler Shaw that we know. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very different, very EDM, right? The reason that it is like that, um, Frank Walker, you yeah. know, um, he's a DJ, EDM producer. So he did a remix to one of my songs with you. Yes, he did. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you very much. And so we got connected then. And he called me up one day last, this is last summer. And he's like, hey, we should get in the studio together. We should, we should write something. I'm like, obviously, let's do it. Let's go. So we get into the studio. And a couple of days before that, I had the guitar lick that you hear at the intro, remember? So I was like, 
this could be something. So I took it to him and, you know, we were obviously shooting melodies back and forth here and there. And then he did his thing, you know, he made it a dance song, like feel good. Let's, let's go kind of, kind of vibe. So this whole thing was actually supposed to be Frank Walker featuring Tyler Shaw. It was supposed to be Frank's song originally. Um, but timing didn't yeah, work out with the way, yeah, but timing <laughs> didn't work out like with his schedule and he wasn't going to release this year. Like, hold on, man. Like, okay, if you're not going to do it, let me do it. Cause I want this song out and I need this song. I need people to hear this because of, because of the climate, the world climate right now, it's, it's down in the dumps. It's people are hurt. People are frustrated. People are like depressed. So I wanted to release something as a transition into the next project. Um, that's just feel good, up tempo, and let's have some fun. Okay, I'm really excited about that, and I can tell you are extremely excited about that. Yes, yes. And the way you talk about it too, it's like it's not what we're used to from you. So when I think back to like with you or yeah. to the man who let her go, like those songs, like those are that's like a different era of your life, isn't it? Definitely, but. Um, yes, those stories are hundred percent. Like those stories are what was going on in my life at that moment in time. Um, remember, like I said, is, is an evolution slash transition into the new album. The songs I'm going to be releasing, uh, throughout later this year and into next year before the album actually drops as a whole, there are a lot of songs on it. There is heartbreak. Of course, it's not going to be an EDM album. Um, because I'm too emotional for that. I need to sit down at the yeah. piano and sing the love song and, and, you know, cry a little and, and be cheeky about things. Yeah. So, well, we want that from you too, right? Yeah, of course. So, and you're going to get it. Don't worry. Good. Yeah. So, it's, so this album is supposed to come out spring 2021. That's the projected, um, plan. Yes. And I'm just curious, um, cause I don't really know this side of things. Is that kind of like on schedule to when a single would come out and then an album would follow or are things kind of weird because of the pandemic? Um, they were, I was actually, this song was actually supposed to come out in like, um, I think it was June, May or June. So it's only a couple, couple of uh, months delayed because people were like, ah, we, you know, what's going on? We don't really know. Um, but just because it's a couple of months today, that doesn't mean much. It's like, and plans always change too. Something could happen uh, where things need to be rushed more versus pushed back more. So it kind of, the industry is, is well, you know, kind of like quicksand, it goes this way and then it can go this way. And yeah, who knows? Just happening when it's meant to happen. Exactly, yes. So on top of all this going on during the pandemic, I also saw on your Instagram that you are going to be a dad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, my wife and I are expecting our first child uh, in December. So congratulations! Thank you so much. Yeah, we're so excited. Ah, uh, lots of lots of stuff on the horizon for you. But um, I did note that the caption for the announcement said the dad joke <laughs> can start. So, yes. do you have a dad joke for me or our listeners? You know what? One of my buddies actually gave me a textbook about this thick of dad jokes, just back to back to back. I haven't, I haven't dove into it yet um, fully. I've read a couple pages, but I need to really get into it. Um, and you know what, dad jokes are more like in the moment type things, you know what I mean? So I think I've already got that pretty much covered. Um, but yeah, every now and then I'll throw one out probably. I'll just have to go check, check the book. Yeah, yeah, my, I'm sure you can pull from your own life too, but like, my dad will always say, like, if we say, where are you going? He'll be like, crazy. And it's like, huh? Okay, <laughs> yeah, crazy. heard that one. Love that yeah. one. Yeah. Well, you're a fantastic writer when it comes to music. I'm sure you can come up with some dad lines. And we're really looking forward to hearing the new album, Spring 2021, hopefully. Yes, absolutely. And then I actually will be dropping new music, like, um, more than just Remember this year. And then a couple new songs early on next year before the album. So, There'll be new music before the actual album drops, which is fun. So. Great. I'm so excited to hear Remember Tomorrow, but everyone else will have heard it when this comes out. And awesome. you know what? I'm probably just going to go and when this is airing on our socials, at the same time, I will play Remember. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Bye. Of course. Take care.